welcome back to youtube channel right now i'll be showing you how to insert your concrete fascia some people call it um parapet so how to insert your concrete fascia before your roof so before any roofing is done we used to insert concrete fascia so you come over to your first floor plan by clicking right here depending on the added card you are using now you go back to first story once i open my first story I have already clicked on trace so if yours is not showing this background then you have to click on trace you have to click on trace by right clicking and click on trace once you click on trace this one will be removed so you can see so once i click on trace it's come back so once this thing is showing i'm going to put my concrete facial in fact i put my roof element everything that has to do with my roofing the ceiling the concrete facial the roof at another story this will enable me come over to my ground floor plan to edit whatever i want i wish to edit without deleting the roof materials so it's very important that you insert your roofing materials your concrete facial your ceiling your roofs at another story setting just like autocad that has layers so at, at another layers then then we go to slab now i want to show you how to make use of step concrete facial how to insert step concrete facial so i'll put my thickness to be 100 then the color the paint that is on that model the paint all should be white i click ok and i ensure that it will be on polygonal geometric method because the building shape is not rectangular so i will start looking at the edges you can hold your shift key to ensure that it is properly straight so i'm holding my shift key as guideline too Anytime you do a mistake, you want to click on backspace in your keyboard, it moves back to your former point. So, I believe I've learned that in our previous videos. Then, at the last place, I will now close it. Then, when I'm done putting this, I will offset all edge. You can see it here offset all edges to so maybe 300 mm. Once I offset, all edge. I have to check if my slab is well placed by opening this elevation. So I have to open an elevation. So I've opened this elevation to confirm if my slab is well placed. So you can see the slab is well placed on the building. And I'll go back to my previous story story one since it's step concrete fascia i will just highlight the first one i've done click on ctrl shift d to duplicate the copy so i've duplicated this copy and i will still lap it back on that small copy but i'll now offset the edge again to maybe 100 so while i've also the edge by 100 i will have to what increase the height to 100 as well so i have to come above the previous one by 100 mm i will do the same thing if i want like three step i will duplicate it ctrl shift d duplicate the copy lap it offset all edge by 100 go back there to the settings increase it by 100 it will be 200 i will click ok so let's see what we've done. So right now, I've successfully placed a step concrete fissure. Like you can see over here. So it has been successfully placed. We'll go back to first story. I use this method. So if you don't wish to place a step concrete fissure, you can just delete the the second and the third 
concrete fascia and maybe use an acad concrete fascia notwithstanding you can still modify your own you can still design your own concrete fascia maybe in our next video coming up this week we'll teach you how to modify how to create your own special concrete fascia so we'll go to objects once you double click on object the object default setting comes in just search on mold m o l d so you can see molding curve different type of concrete fascia so we'll make use of molding straight because our building is straight so so i click on molding straight i just leave it at zero maybe at 100 then we can check molding setting to choose the type of concrete fascia we want the design we wish so i i simply prefer the crown one and the the whole thing. We can check on other settings there's no settings to do over here See the little settings to do over here, we just click on OK. When I click on OK, I will place the concrete fascia on the plan. I must ensure that this black button is outside. I must ensure it is outside. So once it's outside, I will now do this at both edge. I'll place it at 45 degrees, which is same thing as 135 degrees. So 135, not 134.9. 135. So I'm also confirm if the concrete facial is well placed by opening an elevation. So you can see it's a bit down, so you can drag it up a bit. To lap perfectly on the building. Now go back to story one. Then we start duplicating this control shift D to duplicate the copy. We drag it over here. Turn this to 90 degrees, 45 degrees. Now we can move this one back. You can see it will lap perfectly on that former one. Control Shift E to rotate the copy. Whenever you're adding Shift to a command, you are going to do that. You are applying that command on a copy. So we can lap this over here. Then we'll bring this one out so for five degrees. Control Shift E. You can check up our my video on all Akikad short keys. It makes your work faster and more accurate. And so I'm placing the same concrete. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bringing new concrete facial because I have already edited one I want. So I'll just keep duplicating this to save me time. To save time, don't need to start placing new ones. Control Shift E, and you remember my black buttons, the, the black bullet over there, at the outer side of your concrete facial. It should never be your. It should never be placed inside. If it's placed inside, which means your concrete facial is being placed upside down. Control Shift E. Right now, I've successfully learned how to place two most common concrete facial 
can find around us which is this step concrete facial and this little curved one So we're currently at the last one currently. Remember the black bullets must always be placed outside. So you can show all in 3D or you can click on 3D all. So you can see the concrete facial now that have been well placed. So since the color is black, we can also change the color to a white color. By going back to the first story. By highlighting all of them, so you can also use Mark U to cover the building and click on Object. Since it's the only object there, only the concrete facial we highlight. Then go back to the settings and change the color to black. So model, we'll see this and change the color to white. Then turn OK. So you can confirm that. So you can see, it have been changed to white. So this is another method of placing your concrete facial so we have learned successfully how to place a step concrete facial and how to place a curved concrete facial in few minutes so the next video that coming up this week is how to create your own how to modify your own concrete facial like any design you wish for yourself no matter how curved or how beautiful you want it to be you'll be able to do that yourself